early November has become the traditional time that I update on one of my favorite projects out here, the stump nurse log trees. Before we get to the trees, I just wanted to share a pumpkin that Wendy grew in our brand new garden patch out by our greenhouse. I'm kind of hoping that she's going to make pumpkin bread, so I didn't want to carve this up for Halloween. Here's something you can do if you want to keep your pumpkin intact. Just use black tape. For folks who haven't seen the other videos, I planted western hemlock trees inside rotting tree stumps. Eventually, their tree roots will intertwine in and around the tree stumps. Those tree roots will eventually be exposed and will be whimsical, abstract, sculptural elements out here. I've built custom raised beds around most of these tree stumps just to give those roots a little more nutrients with the compost I put in them, as well as the capacity to hold more moisture for the tree. This tree down here by our creek is the one that's doing the best so far. It's almost five feet tall so that means it's grown almost a foot this year. It is getting more sunlight, especially now that the canopy has opened up a little bit. We had a big storm in February that just dropped trees left and right out here. We're really fortunate that this tree wasn't crushed by one of those falling trees. next tree was topped in that storm, but a new top is establishing itself, and it seems pretty healthy. It's just about four and a half feet tall, so I can't say that it's gotten any taller this year, probably just because the top part of it got broken off. I think it's a little fuller, but really, officially, I can't say that it's grown any taller this year. I think it'll be just fine going forward. This is a good spot for it. It gets plenty of sun. I'm looking forward to seeing it grow even bigger next year. You might remember that this is the tree I had to replace last year. Well, I've been much better about hand watering all of our trees, especially during the really dry summer that we just had. I just wanted to add that I'm hand watering the stump nurse log trees 
because they're in above ground planters. Anything grown in containers needs to be watered more because they just dry out easier. If these trees live long enough for their roots to significantly dig down below the surface level ground, then they'll be in a much better position to withstand dry spells. Between the storm and the drought and everything else that's been going on out here, I'm glad these trees are alive at all. Here we have the first tree that I planted in this experiment. It turns out this isn't the best place for this kind of tree. It's shadier than any of the other spots and as a result I believe this tree will continue to be one of the slowest growers. It's a little over four feet tall, which is just a little bit taller than it was last year. I decided to go with Western Hemlock specifically because it's a native conifer that really thrives on nurse logs, but also it's a species that's supposed to be very shade tolerant. I guess shade tolerant doesn't necessarily mean that they wouldn't like a little more sunlight at least a little more than it gets here. Okay, so they aren't stump nurse log trees. I just wanted to give an update on how our hedge has been doing. One of the trees that came down in February just flattened the whole end of this hedge I wasn't sure they'd survive, but they have. They're all just staked up with T-posts, and I think I'll probably just leave them staked up for the foreseeable future. I planted this tree last year, and it's the first tree in this experiment not to have one of those raised beds built around it. It does have plenty of soil in the tree stump to work with and so far so good I just measured it and it's just a little bit over four feet so it's another tree that has just grown a little bit this last year I put this makeshift fencing up after I saw some grazing cows nibbling the ends of this tree's branches you're a pretty one you're a pretty one. Yeah. That's a good cow. I really do wish that this fencing wasn't necessary, but eventually when the tree is big enough, it won't be needed anymore. I've really tried to create a special space around this tree. With all of the deadfall to work with from that February storm, I ended up using some of it to create sort of a circle perimeter around the tree.
if it weren't for that admittedly ugly fencing, this space would just sing with quiet contemplation and the tranquility of nature. There is another stump to plant in, and I've already filled it with compost. This is a pretty good spot. It's, it's right next to this other stump nurse log tree. It gets plenty of light out here. The surface area, the surface area may be a little bit limited for capturing rain. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. We'll see. I'm going to start with a much smaller tree this time. Starting with a smaller tree saves me a little bit of money, but more importantly, I believe it'll let the tree adapt itself to these conditions a little more slowly as it gets bigger. I'm also hoping that this somewhat less accessible location will help deter the cows from eating it. For the record, it's about two and a half feet tall. 